E W S. It's the Overnight Underground News. Here's today's headlines. Protests and unrest continue in America. Defense Secretary Esper distances from Trump. Everybody knows what's going on there. The Gulf needs to get ready for Christabel. Biden gains more delegates and advice for sex in the pandemic. Oh, yes. All this and more on today's Overnight Underground News. I'm John Ford. The protests continued into the overnight, and thankfully, the looting and violence was a little more subdued. Maybe many of the dissenters felt the same way as this protester on Hollywood Boulevard, who expressed her feelings to an ABC7 news crew. We don't want to do anything that's not peaceful. We've been peaceful all day. And if you think about it, literally no one's been getting hurt in these riots. We're f***ing up white man's money. You can bleep that out if you want to. That's on you. Okay, that's on you. Still, there were instances of looting in many cities. In Philly, a 24-year-old looter was killed while trying to blow up an ATM. And the unrest continued its spread across the Atlantic to London and Paris, where riot police used tear gas and faced off with protesters setting fires to the city of blights. Lights. In other news, the prime minister of Sweden visited Washington today and my tiny little nipples went to France. Defense Secretary Mark Esper has broken ranks with Trump. Esper said during a press conference that he opposes invoking the Insurrection Act that would allow President Trump to use the U.S. military to quell the violence plaguing U.S. cities. The option to use active duty forces in a law enforcement role should only be used as a matter of last resort and only in the most urgent and dire of situations. We are not in one of those situations now. I do not support invoking the Insurrection Act. It seems the insurrection here, as far as it comes to Esper, is an insurrection against Trump. Hope he's got his resume updated. If something tells me, he's not long for this wacky administration. They're going to be out so fast, your head will spin. Let's see, we've got a pandemic that everyone seems to have forgotten about and thousands of really pissed off people protesting and looting in American cities. What else could we possibly have to throw into the mix? How about a potential hurricane making a possible beeline for New Orleans? Tropical Storm Christabel formed in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico on Tuesday and is expected to meander, hat in hand, towards the U.S. Gulf Coast late Sunday or early Monday. It's still a crap shoot what the storm's intensity will be once it hits the U.S. Gulf Coast. While no one was looking, presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden swept all seven presidential primaries yesterday. It's a big win for Biden, who has no opposition, but we wouldn't want to draw any attention to that. That's a fact. Look it up. These wins put Biden just short of the 1,991 delegates he needs for the nomination. Uncontested primaries next week in Georgia and West Virginia should put Biden over the top. I'm Joe Biden. I, 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 this message. If you're having sex during the pandemic, it might be a good idea to put a bag over your heads. Well, at least wear a face mask. According to a study from Harvard University, the safest way to have corona sex is wearing a mask over your puss. Oh my God. It's probably also a good idea to use a condom. My son, put down those rubbers. They are a plague upon mankind. Some studies have even shown that coronavirus traces have been found in men's semen. Oh, my God. Oh, hell. Just get yourself a tarp, would you? Maybe those wacky furries were actually onto something. Two garbage bags. Two sacks. Holy sea cow, Batman. Now the rioting has spread to the alligator community. A woman in Fort Myers, Florida, was shocked. Shocked, I say that the pounding on her front door had nothing to do with the Jehovah's Witnesses. It was two gators duking it out in all their amphibian glory. According to the Fort Myers News Press, one of the gators had his snout pinned to her door while fending off its rival. A video of the whole weird, sword alligator fisticuffs was posted to Facebook. Of course, that link is available on today's OvernightUnderground.com webpage. <laughs> Everglades, here I come! Today's words of advice, always assume the mic, and in this case, the camera, is on. According to the Daily Mail, a Mexican senator got caught during a Zoom meeting with government officials when she assumed the camera wasn't loaded. What's the matter with you? That's liable to go off. But it ain't loaded. I'll show you. 
Martha Lucia Mitcher let it all hang out while she was changing her blouse during the video meeting, and everyone got an eyeful of Martha's... Ah, you know. The senator blames a faux pas on her lack of computer knowledge and needing a few extra dollar bills. Swing low, sweet N E W S. A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.